Welcome to Linda's TV show. This is the home of news. If it is your first time of stopping by or coming across this platform, you are welcome. In this platform, we present to you news on daily basis as it is happening. I am bringing it to your doorstep so you don't need to bother yourself. How do we do it? We analyze it, then sit down there and watch it together with you. Then we'll come to the comment section to talk about it. Everybody is entitled to his or her opinion. You are free to criticize. Drop your comment, your opinion, but let us do it constructively. As you are watching, please subscribe. Until we meet again, we are going to watch the video together right now. Let us dive into it. Thank you for tuning in again. Before I drop this video within a minute, I made a video about uh, Governor Okese Ibaz. That is the governor of Abia State, where he said he agreed with Mazin and the kind of method of uh, Biafra agitation. And I was surprised this morning I saw this interview and he said, I don't believe in Biafra through the barrel of the gun now um, somebody said in that video because that one was a written uh, video and somebody said um, i should have have an audio because tomorrow this man will come back and deny what he said and this is exactly what is happening i truly or really now believe in what that person said that all these uh, politicians you cannot trust them you cannot hold them they will come today and say something and um, the, tomorrow they will come and say another thing. And he said he doesn't want Biafra through war. Nobody wants war. Mazin Nandikan, if you can agree with me, initially was doing this peacefully. He even gave them an opportunity of a referendum of which they resist. Nobody wants war. Myself, I don't want war. I don't like war. War is not good. It's not experience somebody would like to have. Now, let me allow you to watch or listen to what he said you say that they need to be listened to who are you making reference to you're talking about the federal government oh yes everybody if, if, if they have issues with my state government uh, or the way I run government here and uh, they are agitated against it, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will listen to what they're saying and the ones I can't do I'll tell them I can't do it and tell them why I will not be able to do that have you sat with them? And, yeah. Sorry, have you sat with them to listen to them um, recently? Oh, no. But um, I, I make uh, my opinion on um, all the issues they have raised known. And uh, the ones that are impossible to do, I will, I have, for instance, I, 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 I don't believe in um, uh, Biafra through uh, the balance of the gun because I, I, I saw a little bit of the civil war and I don't want that kind of thing. And I don't see the prospects of that venture. And I don't want uh, anything that will be suicidal. Uh, but I, I, I think that um, um, uh, creating a society where everybody has a right to, 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 to speak and there is inclusion and participation and, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, is, is uh, the kind of uh, mindset I want. For, I mean, if Biafra is a for, for in, uh, uh, agitation against injustice in any way that there, there is Biafra in the heart of many Nigerians. Um, and um, he, he, I just read an article, somebody uh, posted that um, uh, sometime in Abamagre Tepo was a councillor here, and uh, uh, you know, and we have had uh, um, somebody from Kano uh, being the mayor of Enugu. You know, what has happened to this country actually, and why, why are we not making taking steps? To, 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 to build bridges. Rather, we are, we, are, we, are, we are emphasizing things that divide us, ethnicity, religion, all those things that divide us, rather than things that bring us together. And um, if, if, even the comments uh, you get to hear going forward makes it difficult for people to appreciate uh, the fact that uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are one country under one goal. I mean, how easy will it be if you're asking for a dialogue between IPOP and the federal government? The federal government had declared them, it, uh, uh, prescribed them. So who will organize this? And uh, we are looking at some of the unrest and the agitations. When will this end? How will that dialogue happen if that is what you are advising? Well, so as far as I'm, as far as I'm concerned, um, 
um, we, we, as far as we are concerned in Abia, there is nothing like IPOP, but uh, we, 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 we have uh, ESN, and we also hear what, what the agitations that, uh, whatever that is agitating the mind of people. Because you go to the grassroots as a governor and you ask questions, what, what, what is the problem? And some of these things are germane. So, so if uh, uh, the, 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 it is the remit of the federal government to set up structures to engage um, Nigerians from all walks of life and, 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 and hold discussions and conversations, I think that is the way it, it, it is done all over the world. You know, if you can, you can prescribe um, um, an individual, you can prescribe uh, a, a group, you can pro prescribe... Uh, uh, an organization, but it is difficult to prescribe an ideology. So, uh, let's move away from that. At least 12 INEC offices have been attacked in the Southeast state uh, in the past few months. What do you suppose could be responsible for those kind of attacks on an organization or institution that will organize election? There will be election in November in Anambra State, for example. I said it earlier that... Um, um, what I make out of uh, the, the, some of the attacks in the southeast, as, as, as we see them now, uh, can just be the, pl the plank is on, on is resting on two or three planks. The first one is to instill fear, you know, to harass and instill fear on, on uh, you know, across the land. The other one is to collect arms and uh, put all of them together. It it uh, is defined by the fact that people are attacking institutions of civil authority. And INEC is one of them. INEC is one of them. The police, the military, the courts, these are institutions of civil authority. And uh, anybody who does that is an enemy of the nation. Hello, I greet all of you who are listening to me now. Um, I have come again to continue with our discussion. Uh, a few days ago, I brought you a message regarding the forthcoming um, public hearing and uh, I would like to tell you that the public hearing has come and gone um, and we are duly represented. The Biafrans were duly represented. Um, we were able to present the Biafran case in all the geopolitical zones in the southeast, south, south, southwest, north central, that's middle bed, then northwest and northeast. We were able to present the Biafran position, Biafran memorandum, Biafran case before the National Assembly. Uh, at Enugu, we are represented by uh, Comrade Zulu of Fuelue. Uh, South South was by Barrister Martin Sachonye. Uh, South West of Barrister Captain uh, Kasmia Wafo. North Central Barrister uh, uh, Charles Durson. Then North West of Barrister Chimeze Jonah. Then North East is Comrade Namde Okonye. We were able to cover the whole Nigeria and we presented the Biafran case. Presentation of Zulu of Fuele at Enugu. You will see that his presentation captured the attention of everybody. In fact, the Biafran memorandum was the was the talk of the town. Every person loved it because we are saying that we are Biafrans. In fact, Zulu of Fuele clearly told them that he is a Biafran activist. His announcement he said. I represent movement of Biafrans in Nigeria under the customary government. We are those who took Nigeria to court. We are with Nigeria in court over the issue of self-determination. And it is our position that except Nigeria is restructured to regional autonomy, Nigeria shall not survive as a country. That it's only regional autonomy that can make, help Nigeria to survive. So that every region will have its own autonomy, govern itself, and develop at its own pace. That is the only solution that can save Nigeria from collapse. And uh, the, he was there talking about it. The senators were there. House of Rep members were there. The governors were there. You, you can imagine. But nobody arrested him. You know that the Senate has power to order for his arrest as a Biafran activist. But nobody arrested him. That is what I have been telling you. That we operate with the legal methodology and that gives us what is called judicial immunity. We are with Nigerian government in court. And because we are in court with Nigeria, Nigeria has no right to arrest us. You cannot arrest a plaintiff. A defendant cannot arrest a plaintiff 
who is with him in court. Until that case is over. So we are enjoying judicial immunity until this case is over. We have the right to gather. We have the right to gather ourselves as Biafras. We have the right to discuss as Biafras. We have the right to meet and, and strategize and push this case. We have the right to meet with Nigerian authorities face to face. I told you that for any people to gain independence, you must meet the odd opponent face to face. It's either you meet the opponent in battlefield of war or you meet the opponent in the court and argue your case in court or you meet the opponent in the parliament and debate your opposition your position your case in the parliament so you must meet the opponent face to face yes you can run around the street make noise make protests but that's not enough you must meet the opponent face to face look at the bible when uh, God sent Moses to go and deliver Israelite. He said, go to Pharaoh, face to face, go to Pharaoh, face to face, and say, let my people go. Pharaoh represented the sovereignty, the sovereignty of Egypt. So go to the sovereignty, the sovereign uh, entity, go and speak. You must meet the sovereign governments face to face. So we have engaged Nigeria face to face. In court, we have engaged Nigeria face to face. In the parliament, we have engaged Nigeria face to face. We don't want the other aspect that is using war, battlefield, because we have tried it before and we, we did not succeed before. I'm not saying that war is not an option. If the Fulanese or the Muslims who say they want to bring war into Nigeria bring war, well, if they bring war, whatever they see, they will take because the whole Nigeria, all the Nigerians will fight against these uh, Fulani people, 6% of them, 6% of Nigerian population trying to lord over Nigeria. All other ethnic nationalities will rise up and fight against Fulani people if they try war again. They, let them not think that uh, the people of uh, Benue State, Middle Bed, South South, or South West will join them as they joined before uh, to defeat Biafra. Times have changed. So if they are banking on using those people to fight against Biafra, <laughs> let them have a rethink. So what we are talking now is the evolution of power to the regions. Let there be regional government. Already the regions have been created. We have six regions now. All we are saying is that the has to, the National Assembly should now pass the bill into law, granting autonomy, autonomous status to the regions. And that's all. And it's over. Already the regions have been created. So all we need now is a law. Pass that law now, granting autonomy to the regions. And every person will be happy. Thank you very much for listening to me. I'll come again next time. God bless you as you enjoy this message. Please share this message to other people because we need to know the truth and so that we shall be saved by the truth. Goodbye for now. My wonderful people, thank you so much for watching this video together with me. I appreciate your massive support in this channel. Like I said before, if it is your first time of stopping by or coming across my YouTube channel, you are welcome. Now that we are finished watching this video together, you saw me sitting there watching it together with you. I appreciate you. Let's go to the comment section to talk about it. If it is your first time, subscribe, put on your notification bell. That notification bell is very, very important because it will enable you to know when I upload a new video. I will meet you guys again in my next video. I appreciate your massive support. Remain blessed. Bye-bye.